Our guest this morning is the CEO of Voiles Hospital. His name is Tim Curry, and he's coming to talk about the rich history of Voiles Hospital. It's been in the parish since 1938, and there is some newness on the horizon. For the very first time, we welcome Tim Curry to the OPT Network. Thank you very much for having me. Good morning and welcome. It's good to have you. So a lot of people know that the Avoyles Hospital has been there for 80 plus years. Correct. But now it's really making some, um, it's, it's, it's changing with the times so that people don't necessarily have to travel out of the parish to get excellent state-of-the-art care. Correct. Let's talk about some of the changes that you all are making. Well, uh, I think a lot of it has to do with, uh, you know, the uh, management team that we have. Uh, you know, our, the owner of the company, uh, Allegiance Health Management, who owns Avoyles Hospital, is from Hesmer, Louisiana, which is right there. Who in, knew? He's from Hesmer, correct, Louisiana? Correct. He's from Hesmer, Louisiana, right borderline. And uh, so he's very committed in the central Louisiana market, uh, along with others as well. Uh, the COO of the company, uh, Mr. Don Cameron, he's from Oakdale, wow. Louisiana, mm-hmm. which Allegiance owns Oakdale Hospital as well. So we're very committed in giving back, you know, to these rural markets. Uh, just to touch on, you know, uh, Avoyles Hospital. Uh, Avoyles Hospital, you know, obviously has a lot of very positive things, uh, you know, to brag about. In sure. other words, uh, you know, we have a lot of very good things going on. We are very committed in giving back into our uh, community and into our market. And, uh, you know, we just we're excited about the, you know, the, the growth. Sure. And what a lot of people don't realize is that in rural areas, oftentimes people feel like you can't get the state of the art care that you can get in larger cities, but not true. You have some of the best surgeons Mm -hmm. and you're doing a lot of surgeries at the hospital. Correct. A lot of our local physicians, uh, along with some of our specialists, uh, like our surgeons, ENT, uh, you know, and so on and so forth. They, they are all very well trained and they can, uh, you know, they do a phenomenal job. The outcomes have been very good, uh, very, very positive outcomes, actually. And, uh, you know, the physicians there locally are very committed in, you know, making sure that uh, a Vols Hospital and uh, is, you know, their service hospital and they continue to uh, be committed to us, and uh, so so do the surgeons and stuff as well. Sure. And so you are undergoing a million dollar worth Correct. of renovations Correct. right now. Let's yes, talk ma'am. a little bit about that. Yeah, we're we're very excited about that. And that just goes back into, uh, you know, talking about, uh, you know, the, the guys that own Allegiance Health Management, which own the hospitals, mm-hmm. uh, are here locally. So they're very committed in giving, you know, giving back to these hospitals and making sure that they have everything that they need to be successful, uh, along with the administrative offices, the suites that you're referring to, uh, you know, we're very excited about, I'm very excited about along with the new uh, flooring and stuff throughout the hospital. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, the other plans later on down the road to, you know, extend our surgery suites and to uh, put a medical office building there on campus. Sure. And so the idea is to bring everything under under one roof, so to speak. Correct. Uh, You know, our our strategic plan is to bring everything on campus. Um, That way we have our own medical hub at, uh, you know, the Voles Parish Market. Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, if we can bring everything on campus, have all the physicians there, it'll be a one-stop shop for these patients versus having to go, you know, everywhere across town to be able to get, you know, the services that they need. Sure. And so in providing excellence and excellence in care, one of the things that is coming is a psychiatric ward. Correct. Talk about why that was important. Well, it's just a very big need, you know, everywhere, you know, and um, across America. And, and, you know, that's one thing that... Uh, our company has history in doing is uh, these psych wards, you know, these psych facilities, in other, uh, other words, uh, uh, and that we're placing in, in all our markets. Um, Avoyles, I think, is going to be, uh, you know, it's going to be very big in our market just due to the fact that the shortage of the, you know, the health, uh, behavioral health and mental health right. there in, in the area. Yeah, there is a so. shortage of beds, and, and oftentimes there is no place to send those patients other than away from their home. Correct. And you know, our idea is to bring, uh, look at our mar- market and see what is needed. And uh, there's no reason to duplicate what's already there. In other words, what we want to do is we want to try to create uh, new services to prevent our patients from having to travel, like you had said, right. an hour here, an hour mm-hmm. there. Everything can be there locally. 
uh, you know, and that's part of, you know, one of the things that we highlighted uh, when, when looking at doing our strategic plan was, hey, you know, there, there's a site shortage here in Oval's Parish. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, let's uh, allow, let's put that piece there in Oval's Parish to help our patients not have to travel. Indeed. So far. And so what are some of the things that people don't know about Avoyles Hospital that they there may be misnomers about? Well, you know, we provide good quality uh, care close to home. You know, uh, one thing that I always like to, you know, tell people is, let's say, if, you know, you're in Marksville and you wake up with chest pain, whatnot, and let's say if that hospital wasn't there, you would be having to drive 30 minutes up the street to Alexandria, which, you know, every second counts. Right. Uh, you know, it's very important for the local market to support the hospital. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, because it is it is a for-profit hospital, you know, and I mean, it does take money to actually stay open. It isn't state-funded. Right. So, uh, you know, people investing into their hospital is very important. Mm -hmm. And uh, so... And I think talking about the level of care mm -hmm. that Avoyles provides will also give our listeners and viewers, more information because yes, if someone is having a heart attack or having any type of event like a stroke or what have you, and they're in that rural area, as you said, every second does count. Correct. And, and you know, our idea is to get the patient there, stabilize the patient. If we can't, uh, you know, uh, house the patient, we feel like they might need a higher level of care, then at that point in time, we can you know, send the patient elsewhere. Right. Um, you know, and one thing that we've added is uh, telestroke. And uh, so we can take those patients that do actually, uh, you know, that do come to our facility that need like, a, a, you know, some type of assistance that has, has shows, showed signs in, in having a stroke and we can stabilize that patient and then, you know, airlift them elsewhere to uh, get the proper care. Absolutely. And I think airlift is another thing that maybe a lot of people did not know mm -hmm. that Avoyles Hospital provided. Correct. And it, that's critical. It, it is very critical. And one thing that I'm uh, actually doing is working uh, on doing some partnerships with some different uh, air, uh, air ambulance in a way, uh, uh, companies on trying to put a helicopter on campus. That way we can always, you know, show the community that, hey, we're committed and showing that, hey, we can, uh, you know, take care of those patients that might need, you know, uh, that might show up at our door with, you know, having showing signs of a heart attack or, you know, a stroke or whatnot. We can stabilize that patient and then have a helicopter there on campus to be able to airlift them where they where they need to be. That's amazing. And I think for a lot of people who didn't know that the owner was probably from Avoyles Parish mm -hmm. and probably grew up there and his commitment is for even more excellence is really something that people just probably didn't know. Very much so. And I mean, uh, you know, volume speaks. And, uh, you know, one thing that he's doing is he's doing the, you know, the renovation and he's investing into the hospital and uh, he's investing into the communities. Uh, one thing that I'd, you know, like to touch on is all these rural health clinics that we're kind of placing in, uh, in all these rural markets is uh, kind of the, goes off the same idea that we're looking at with the rural hospital, you know, is if we can place these, strategically place these uh, clinics in underserved areas where there's a provider shortage, uh, let's say in some of these smaller uh, towns, uh, then that prevents those patients to where if they wake up with, you know, a cough or something or, a, you know, a headache or and they feel like they have to, you know, be seen by a provider, they don't have to travel, you know, 30 minutes up the road just for a simple office visit. We'll have a rural health clinic they're in their town to where they can literally go right up the street and be seen and, you know, maybe get prescribed, you know, a mm -hmm. little antibiotic or whatnot and, uh, and be on their way. Absolutely. And before we leave, let's talk about the emergency care. Mm -hmm. We've kind of talked about, you know, people who maybe would have an event and would need to come there. But as you said, for those people in rural areas that have an emergency, you have an emergency room there Correct. that is available to help and to treat any emergencies that might happen at any time. Correct. We we have a uh, we have a fully staffed uh, emergency room. Uh, we have a physician there twenty four seven. So uh, you know at any point in time, if you know someone shows up at, at the hospital, they can be uh, you know treated and taken care of appropriately at our hospital. Uh, our door to discharge uh, time is roughly I think 
30, 45 minutes. In the ER? In the ER. Wow. So from the time that a patient comes in the door to the time that they are seen by a physician, on average, is 18 minutes. Uh, amazing. So, very much so. So our ER, you know, is doing a phenomenal job. And I think a lot of that has to do with our directors and our medical director over that department. Um, you know, there's, I hear it all the time, you know, patients come in, oh, I had to go to this hospital and I had to sit in the waiting room for, you know, an hour and a half before being seen. And I was in an emergency room. Well, you know, then they come to our hospital and they're being seen by a physician within 20 minutes and they're, you know, blown away. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think a lot of it has to do uh, with our committed staff. You know, our, our core group of people there have been there 20, 30 years. Uh, some of our nurses, our physicians. So, Everyone knows what it takes to be successful in running that hospital. Uh, so, and, and, you know, they're very committed and they're, they take their work uh, very, you know, they take pride in their work. Absolutely. That's amazing. Tim, we look forward to all of the newness that's going to be happening down in Avoyles. And most importantly, with sharing our listeners and viewers the growth that they can expect to see and, and have that housed right there in Avoyles Parish for all who are looking in excellence and care. Thank you for taking the time. Thank you so very much. I greatly appreciate it. Indeed. Hey, everybody, stay on point. We're back right at this.